the darkness so, so that even we cannot see him. My child, do not despair. Do you think we would have brought you here if there was no hope? We are confident you can do it. Your father needs help. He needs courage. Now, are we ready? Where are we going? We must go behind the shadow. Could you hear? You can try, though I'm not sure how it will work. You see, although we travel together, we still travel alone. We will go first and take you afterward in the backwash. The great white body began to waver slowly, dissolving into the mist. Mrs. Who seemed to evaporate until there was nothing but the glasses. Then the glasses, too, disappeared. There was a gust of wind and a great thrust and a sharp shattering as she was shoved. Then darkness, silence, nothingness. Are you still there, Calvin? I barely can feel you. Meg felt pressure she had never imagined, as though she was becoming completely flattened out by an enormous steamroller. Her lungs were squeezed together so that although she was dying for want of air, there was no way for her lungs to expand and contract to take in the air that she must have to stay alive. She tried to gasp, but a paper doll can't gasp. She thought she was trying to think, but her flattened out mind was as unable to function as her lungs. Her thoughts were squashed, along with the rest of her. Her heart tried to beat. It gave a knife-like sideways movement, but it could not expand. Then the tinkling began to come back to her fingers. She could feel Calvin holding her tightly. Really, Mrs. Wood, you might have killed us. Children, I apologize. Now, Charles, calm down. It is very difficult to realize how limiting protoplasm is. I'm sorry. It's not funny. We are such stuff as dreams are made of. You didn't do it on purpose. Oh, darling, of course not. This is just a very understandable mistake. It really is a very pleasant little planet. It's rather amusing to be flat, you know. Well, where are, well, where are we now? In Orion's belt. We have a friend here, and we want you to have a look at your own planet. I hope this is a nice planet. We can't see much of it. Will it ever clear up? Meg looked around her, realizing that she had been so breathless from the journey that she had not noticed her surroundings. And this was not very surprising, for the main thing about the surroundings was that it was simply unnoticeable. The air around them was gray, but not quite like fog. Come, children, we don't have far to go, and we might as well walk. It will do our legs some good to move a bit. Are you going into the dark cavern? It gets very cold here, so we asked her to have a good bonfire going for you. We are here! Oh, medium dear, these are the children, Charles Wallace Murray and Margaret Murray. We want them to see their home planet. Oh, why must you make me look at so many unpleasant things when there are so many great things to see? There will no longer be so many pleasant things to look at if responsible people do not do something about the unpleasant ones. It's a thing. Yeah. What's it? Look, children, look into the crystal ball. Look, it is your own Milky Way. It is because the atmosphere you can't see properly. No, Meg, you know it is not the atmosphere. You must be brave. It's the thing. Did the dark thing just get here? Tell her. No, Meg, it has been here for a great many years. That is why your planet is such a troubled one. I hate the dark thing. <laughs> yes, Charles, dear, that's the reason we wanted to prepare you. We need to see the truth about your beloved world. But what is it? We know that it is evil, but what is it? It is <laughs> evil. You have said it. It is the powers of darkness. But what is going to happen? We will continue to fight. And we are not alone. All through the universe has been fought, all through the cosmos. And some of these fighters have come from your planet. Little did the children know that people such as Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, Shakespeare, Bach, Madame Curie, Einstein, and Gandhi were fighters for the good of the planet to destroy the planets of darkness. 
Watch now, children, watch. You see, evil can be overcome, and it it is be, being overcome all, all the time. The world, the world can, can be 